Hey, how's it going folks? ET here with another tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to show you how to do voiceover in iMovie. Okay, let's get into it. So what you're going to do is actually put your grubber, your tape head here, where you'd like the recording to begin. And for this video, I want it at the very beginning. The next thing you're going to do is actually click on this microphone right here underneath the player. And then you're going to verify your settings. So click on these little sliders here. And make sure that iMovie is actually grabbing the right microphone. So I have it set for system settings, which is my Scarlett Solo USB. So I could actually choose either one of these. Okay. Alrighty. And you can control your volume settings down here. And you can have it mute the project while you're recording, which I usually do. Alrighty, I think I'm ready to record. So let me put my scrubber at the beginning of the recording. Gonna go ahead and hit that record button. And there will be a countdown timer. So get ready. Hey, how's it going folks? ET here with another video. In today's video, we're going to show you my new audio recording setup, which is a Focusrite Solo, third generation, and a Cloudlifter preamp. Okay, and go ahead and click that red button to stop the recording. Alrighty, so that recording is finished, and you'll notice that it dropped it exactly where it needs to be, where I started the recording. You can move it around anywhere you'd like it to go. You can also edit it. You can increase the volume here. You can actually right click and split the clip. If you need to move it around, if you need to move sections around, you can do that. At the end, if there's any extra, you can drag all the way in to where you need to stop. Or you could also just right click and split and then delete that extra section. And you can do any of the audio editing that I have in my editing tutorial that I'll link at the end of the video here. But basically holding down the option key and clicking, you can add keyframes to control certain areas of the video. Alrighty, that's it for today's tutorial. I want to thank you for watching. And as usual, don't forget, hit that subscribe, like, comment, ring the bell, all that jazz. And we'll talk to you next time. Peace and aloha.